In this video, I will show you how to push your Flutter application inside your iPhone, so your physical iPhone. Let's start this by going inside the flutter.dev documentation, get started and iOS. Then you will scroll down and you will find the section uh, deploy to iOS device. Okay, once in this section, the first step, we have a command to do in the terminal. We will open the terminal with command and space to have the spotlight. Then we will write terminal and we will select it. Here we go. We have the terminal open and now what we will need to do is copy this line of code. Here we go. I copy it and then I will paste it inside the terminal just like this. And after I will press on enter and this will download uh, everything we need. You will need to put your password of your Mac. And as you can see, nothing uh, show on the screen, but you can write your password. If you fail, you rewrite it. Okay. When it is done. So th this may take uh, 10 minutes, but when it's done, you can go back inside the documentation. And what we will need to do is open Xcode and go inside the general sign in and team, as we can see on the red. Okay. So we'll go inside our finder in the Android studio project in our flutter app testing. And inside you will find our iOS folder. You click on it and then you will find the runner.exe workspace. You double click on it and this will open automatically your Xcode. Perfect. When Xcode has opened, you will just wait a little bit to see this loading bar finish. And when it is done, what we will do, we will go inside the runner file. So the first file on the top left runner, we click on it. Then we will need to go inside the sign in uh, capability. You will click on it and then you will find uh, that we need to add the team right here. So we click on add an account on the team and then you can put your Apple ID. It will ask also your uh, password of your Apple ID and then you will go back in team and click on your account. You will select your account. After you go back in general and in general, the bundle identifier, you will change it. And instead of being com.example, you can change it by example for com.testing because sometimes the uh, example can cause some problem. So we will just change it for testing. And now I will just explain you once again what we need to do. So you see uh, in this searching bar, you don't have your iPhone. What you will need to do is connect your iPhone to your Macintosh. And when the connection to your Macintosh is done, you will click on it and you will find your iPhone on this bar. So you can select your iPhone first. And then what we have, we have done is we have uh, add inside the sign in section. So if we go back in, in this, in the sign in, we have add the team. So you have your Apple uh, ID. And then in general, we have changed the example for the testing. We have put our iPhone, connect our iPhone and select it. And then you can press on this play button. If you don't see your iPhone, you can just uh, enter your password on your iPhone. Maybe this will help. And you press play. When the play button has been pressed, this will load for maybe five to 10 minutes and you will see the build succeeded. Perfect. Then the terminal of the Xcode will open and you have successfully uh, built your Flutter app inside your physical iPhone. See you on the next one.